Have you ever heard someone say that they feel they don't fit in anywhere? Or maybe you have experienced it yourself. That you don't fit in with your family or friends. Maybe not even with society as a whole. Or maybe you don't fit in at all. Not even in a spiritual community. If you feel bad about that, keep watching. Because right now you may experience it as a source of frustration, alienation, or feel lonely because of it. However, when you think about this carefully, you can also see it as a blessing. It offers options for larger perspectives. When you don't pigeonhole yourself and realize that you do not have to belong to anything, you can experience a degree of freedom that people who are trapped in a certain identity cannot experience. It allows you to see the bigger picture, because in the end, we are simply all conscious beings, called humans. When I think about this, I can't help but come to the conclusion that all that division and limitation makes absolutely no sense. Identifying and limiting yourself to a certain group is based entirely on conditioning. In my experience, it is wiser to identify with nothing so that you can take a step back and observe more. Often you are limited when you identify with an ideology, group, or whatever it may be. After all, you are less or not at all open to other perspectives because you think that the perspective of the group you think you belong to is the right perspective. You will not question the beliefs and assumptions of the group you think you belong to because you believe in them. In some cases, people will judge you for it. And then there's the tendency to blindly reject everything that comes out of the so-called counterparty without even trying to understand it or at least trying to understand how they came to think or believe that way. If you cling to an identity that makes you dependent by conforming to set standards, you may never see other ways of thinking as a possibility. Of course, when you don't identify with anything, you can still find certain things that lean more in one direction than the other. However, you have an advantage that you do not have if you identify yourself with something and that is a higher degree of flexibility, openness, and willingness to investigate. And in addition, you are willing to try to understand the opposite direction. Living under the illusion that you must belong to something actually means that you are endangering your own integrity. Along with your investigative nature, logical, and rational ability, your vision is clouded because you are hindered from thinking freely and seeing clearly. You then tend to blindly adopt what others in the group believe, with an emphasis on believing. That's why I think if you find that you don't seem to fit in anywhere, you can be thankful for that. But, of course, I am also just a student of life. Therefore, do not blindly believe what I say, but investigate whether it is correct. Let's be open to other insights, have healthy discussions, and treat each other with love and respect. Rethink the things you believe in. There is nothing to lose, only to gain.